Dr. Suits is instrumental in the decision to move the downtown research lab to a rural site in Niskayuna, right here, where it is now known as the GE Global Research Center. Suits' love of the outdoors is partially responsible for the choice of the secluded riverside location. The Mohawk River also provided a testing ground for underwater submarine experiments and a ready supply of water. And one of his jobs at that time was to, to revitalize the research laboratory, which he did by arranging the purchase of the property at the Knolls in the Niskayuna, out on the river, which became the site of two places. First, the new research laboratory, which he was personally very closely involved in designing and getting open, and at the same time, he was closely involved with the development of the Knowles Atomic Power Laboratory right next door to the research laboratory uh, out on the river in Niskayuna. At this time, the research center rapidly expands as Suits hires many new workers, actually tripling the staff. When the research laboratory started here at General Electric in 1900, it was a daring experiment, a laboratory in industry, intended to advance man's knowledge and understanding of the sciences. The experiment has grown beyond our dreams, and today there are many scientists here seeking answers to the eternal questions. But his interest in his job became one of, of managing people, and being the director of a bunch of 400 PhD scientists, plus a whole lot of other people, was in itself a major challenge, which in technical people is not necessarily the easiest assignment that a person can undertake. The team that he had consisted of quite individualistic, if I can use that term, scientist leaders themselves, uh, the managers of the various operations of his laboratory, who were all of different personalities, uh, all fine people, but not necessarily all cut from the, from the same cloth. Suits' remarkable ability was to have these people who reported directly to him, who maybe didn't necessarily speak to each other, but they spoke to him and he insisted that they cooperate and did a very great job of doing so. But his challenge at the research laboratory as a manager was to, to assemble and hire, and make sure we're hired, a group of highly uh, talented, uh, dedicated people to do the scientific and engineering work. And as such, he was highly dependent on the way the laboratory was then organized, which was into four laboratories, one in chemistry, one in metallurgy and ceramics, one in electron physics, and one in general physics. And each of these four laboratories had a shall I say, a true personality uh, as a manager.